Do you like shooting landscapes? Wish you could improve your images but don't have the sophisticated editing skills or advanced software? Well, stick around for in this video, we're going to be zeroing in on Luminar Neo, which over the years has steadily built up an array of unique tools that with just a few clicks can improve every aspect of a landscape, yet is simple enough for a novice to use. We're going to be running through not just one, not two, but five tools to help make landscapes pop with very little effort. So let's get right into it. The first tool is called Accent. According to Skylum, under the hood, Accent uses more than a dozen controls. It's designed to yield natural, beautiful results with one simple slider. It can substitute for many traditional controls including shadows, highlights, contrast, tone, etc. Before we demonstrate accent, let's try out improving this photo with a conventional tool also found in other raw editors, the Smart Contrast Adjustment. As you can see, while the overall contrast, particularly in highlights and midtones, were improved, it had the unwanted side effect of severely underexposing shadows. To fix this would require some masking with local adjustments and quite a few other tools to get right. Next, let's try out accent. I'll increase the slider. As you can see, a much better result. Not only was contrast and color nicely boosted, the shadows were also properly brightened and detail was correctly enhanced in the rocks and foliage, making the image pop. Not bad for just one slider. So that was the first tool, Accent. Let's move on to the next tool. The second tool is called Sky Enhancer. With Sky Enhancer, Luminar Neo detects and analyzes the sky in an image to improve the sky's texture, tone, and colors. It also detects objects in the foreground and their edges for perfect masking. Sky Enhancer performs the necessary improvements to recover details and improve the texture of the sky and clouds, selectively adjusting brightness, contrast, saturation, and vividness. It is designed to work with most photographs of the skies and works from blue hour in the morning to the blue hour in the evening. However, it is not designed to work with night skies. Let's demonstrate Sky Enhancer with this raw image. Overall, I like the shot, except that the sky is looking washed out. Let's fix it with Sky Enhancer. As you can see, with just one operation, Sky Enhancer, for the most part, correctly limited the adjustment to just the sky, adding detail contrast, and reducing exposure. However, since this tool utilizes automatic detection and masking, there may be times that generated masks will require refinements. Taking this image as an example, you might argue that Sky Enhancer is spilling over the water, which may not be your preference. The good news is Sky Enhancer, as in most of Luminar's editing tools, supports masking. I'll use the brush for a more refined look. So that is Sky Enhancer. Let's move on to the third tool. The third tool is the Details tool. Details helps you create dramatic photos and brings crystal clear sharpness to your images. With proper detail enhancement, you can make your photos look sharp with no halos or artifacts. It has a few notable adjustments. Small details sets the sharpness of the fine details. Medium details sets the sharpness of medium-sized details. Large details is used to set the sharpness of the global contours of objects. To demonstrate, let's work with this image. It's a nice shot, but it doesn't really capture the texture and details I saw with my own eyes. Let's enhance it with the details tool. 
Since I want to limit the adjustment to just the rock formation, not any other element, I'll use Luminar Neo's newly added Object Select AI, which also is its most accurate masking tool. By the way, do check out my review on Object Select AI if you want to know more about its features and performance. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll refine the mask with the brush. With the mask done, I'll make the adjustment. I'll increase small details as to make the fine details more prominent. I'll boost the detail enhancement even further with the medium detail slider. You can really see the big improvement with a side-by-side -side comparison. So that is details. Let's move on to the fourth tool. The fourth tool is called Structure. Structure allows you to adjust the detail and clarity of an image. Structure is content-aware and can adjust areas variably based on the subject. It is also human-aware, so it does not over-process people in your images. As a result, faces and skin look natural while the objects around them look detailed. Let's demonstrate the power of structure to make this foreground rock come alive. Once again, with just one slider, the local contrast in the rock, sky, and water have been nicely boosted, making the image pop. In addition, structure didn't overly darken edges, which is a common problem in other structure tools from competing raw editors. Continuing our editing, Let's improve the image even further by enhancing the dull sky with the just discussed Sky Enhancer. Next, let's sharpen the rocks further with the Details tool. There, an even crispier looking rock. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, a ton of sophisticated adjustments were all performed with just three sliders. Very impressive. So that was structure. Let's move on to the fifth tool. The fifth tool is called Twilight Enhancer. This tool is the newest being released only this past April as part of the Luminar 1.19 update I've discussed in a previous video. Twilight Enhancer enriches landscapes with natural lighting and color effects of the blue and golden hours using a single slider. It can also simulate the dawn's subtle, warm gradient of light. Let's demonstrate Twilight Enhancer with this image. As you can see, this shot was taken in gray and dull conditions which should have been a breathtaking sunset scene. Oh well, since Mother Nature didn't cooperate, let's use the second best option, photo editing. Let's see what Twilight Enhancer can do to save the day. I'll move the amount slider. And just like that, beautiful warm colors come alive as perhaps would have been if not for the unhappy weather. You also have the option to switch to different types of presets, but I do think the default Move works best for most scenes. So there you have it, five tools from Luminar Neo to make any landscape pop. As you can see, it really is not an exaggeration to say that Luminar Neo has the best suite of landscape enhancing tools. Let me know your favorite Luminar Neo tool write it down in the comments. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.